how to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started with selling on Facebook Marketplace. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you have to do to get started on Facebook Marketplace is create your Facebook account. So you do need to have your own Facebook account to be able to sell on Facebook Marketplace. Now on Facebook Marketplace, you have multiple different options to sell and to access Facebook Marketplace, you can go into your homepage and click on Marketplace on the left toolbar or you can click on the top right menu over here and once you scroll down, you will find the option of shopping and in shopping you have Marketplace. So once you click on this will lead you to actually the Facebook Marketplace listings area where you can see different listings. Some are going to be recommended to you and others will be sponsored as well. Now to start selling on Facebook Marketplace, you don't need any authorization. You don't need anything whatsoever other than your basic account. So if you have a Facebook account, you can get started with selling on Facebook Marketplace. Now to get started with selling, you're going to click on create new listing. But before we do that, I'm going to go into our selling section over here. And this is what it's going to look like on your dashboard when you list an item. Now, once you have listed an item, you will also see announcements. You will also have insights where you can see how many clicks you're getting on your listings, how many listing saves have you gotten, how many shares have you gotten, as well as your marketplace followers. And then you can click on your marketplace profile. So your marketplace profile is going to be a profile where people can reach you. And if you're a good seller, if you're cooperative, if people, you know, are willing to buy an item and they're like, hey, could you send us like a detailed video of the product that you're selling? Because we want to know if it has damage or not. Then those kinds of little helpful things can help boost your marketplace ratings and in turn get your listing better chance to sell. Now to get started with selling on Facebook Marketplace, you're going to click on create new listing on the bottom left. Once you click on create new listing, you have three options on the type of item you're looking to sell. Whether if it's an item that is going to be a, it might be a stock item as well. So that means that if you're a larger seller where you have like 50 t-shirts that you bought in bulk and now you want to resell them, you can do that as well. Then you have vehicles for sales. So if you want to sell a car, truck, or whatever you might have, then you can list it over here. And then you have properties that could either be for sale or rent. Now we're going to choose an item. And once you click on an item, you're going to see a preview on the right side. And then your listing options will be on the left. Now in your listing options on the left, you can click on add photos. And once you click on add photos, this is one of the most essential parts. You're meant to add as many photos as you can. So if we take a look over here, so we have these squishmallows or yeah, let's say I have this green hoodie I want to sell. I can click on open and now I'm just opening up these two images. Now these are just two images of the same product and I'm going to push this one to the front. And now these are the two images that we have listed. Now. If you guys notice, this is like a brand image. This is not an image of my actual product. One thing I recommend is that even if you're going to include brand images like this, even if the product is new, then still include an image that you actually took, which is going to be an image from, you know, hang it on a hanger or just put it on your bed and just take an image like that. The reason for that is it just increases trust with you and the potential buyers. Buyers don't feel like, hey, you just picked off any image and what whatever you might send might not be the same thing so that's very essential that you add an actual image that you took yourself now the next section is going to be your title so your title should be illustrative of the product so let's say this is going to be zara green hoodie or tagged and new like this now although we are later going to mention the condition of the item simply including it in the title helps it in getting recognized by people people are more likely to buy it as well now after that you're going to enter your price and after you've entered your price you're gonna add your category so in our category we're gonna add women's clothing and shoes now after that you have your condition so we're gonna add new now, there are three types of used conditions, which a lot of people always feel like they're supposed to add the used like new 
category. Don't add this category if it's not actually applicable to you. The reason for that is because if your product looks like it has been worn down and the listing that you put says that the item is like new, then that is going to reduce your trust amongst your potential buyers and they will be more thrown off. They're going to Feel more suspicious of your listing hence why they won't buy it so keep in mind you should always add accurate information about your products now after that you're gonna enter your size if it's a clothing item so let's say this is medium and then we're gonna add our color then you're gonna add the brand then you're gonna add the material so if you don't know the material you can open up the tags of your item and usually the materials are listed over there but I'm going to add cotton and then you're going to add a description now although all of the essential or key information has already been provided i still recommend always adding a three-lane description because descriptions always convince people to buy items so you're going to add all of the same information you're repeating the information but you want to add it in a description format as well like this so any descriptive information that you might have about the product should be added in your description so this is a baggy fit hoodie so i just wrote that larger sizes could fit in this as well so even if people of other sizes look at this and they're like oh this is in medium i couldn't wear that and they look at my description they're gonna be like oh i can wear that so they're gonna be a new potential buyer now after you add your description you're gonna add your availability now, this is going to be listed as a single item. However, if you're someone that's looking to do a long-term business on Facebook Marketplace, then you can list items as stock as well. So you always have the option, if you're selling on Shopify, you can start selling on Facebook Marketplace as well. Then you're going to add your product tags. So you're going to add a few tags that are accurate to your product. I like to add five to six tags that are going to help in just getting my product seen with the right audience so i'm just going to add this like this so adding a few tags is super helpful and it can get the right audience your product and then after that you're going to add your sku if you have one and then just click on next now if you actually scroll down to the bottom you have two options you can boost the listing after it's published which means you can boost it as an ad so it reaches more people then you can also choose to hide this from your friends because a lot of times people are not looking to sell items to their friends. So you can hide this from your friends and then click on next and then click on publish. And now you are selling on Facebook Marketplace. So that is how easy and simple it is to start selling on Facebook Marketplace. It takes a couple of seconds for your listings to be added. And now our listing has been created. So this is our Facebook Marketplace listing. When you have a listing, you can take a look at the analytics. You can also edit the listing later on, view it as well, just to see what it's looking like. Then you also have your general information and that is how you can get started with selling on Facebook Marketplace. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you have any information about Facebook Marketplace that I left out, or if you have any thoughts to share, make sure to leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. And I will catch you guys in the next video.